the new Ark Ascended Scorched Earth map recently dropped, and here are my top 10 dino picks for your Scorched Earth adventure. Number 1. The Jerboa The Jerboa is a little mouse-like creature, weak and small, but it gives you a lot of utility. The Jerboa's main purpose is to warn you of the weather events, they also half the weight of the goods you store in the inventory, so you put something in there, they're gonna half that weight for you. And as a fresh spawn, pick one of these guys up early on your journey and your journey will go so much smoother. Number 2. The Moralotops The Moralotops is a great early game tame, with its saddle being unlocked very early on. It stores and produces water and it packs a decent punch as well. It's really good for going long distances as it's a little bit fast on its feet as well, which is crucial on the Scorched Earth desert map. It even has the new ability of irrigating your plants and crops with its new water usage options. And to top it all off, it also collects some early game resources like berries. Number 3. The Megatherium This is a crazy OP dino. It hits hard, collects plants and fibers, it gets a damage boost from killing insects, which is huge because most of the creatures in the deserts are insect type mobs. They have great weight and stamina, but most importantly, they make you invisible to most dinos when you ride them, so no stupid fights unless you want to actually fight something. Number 4. The Lymantria the Lymantria is the Scorch Earth equivalent of the Pteranodon and this little bug can move. It's an easy tame with a low level saddle unlock. The Lymantria is the tame you can use to hit the skies of Scorched Earth early and even dare to visit the Wyvern Trench early game to snatch yourself a Wyvern Egg. They even have slowing gas that slows down any predators that it hits. On Scorched Earth, it's always good to be in the skies and off the ground, so if you can do this early on, grab yourself a Lymantria. Number 5. The Torny Dragon The Torny Dragon, not the Horny Dragon, is one of the Ark's top wood collectors who also gets a weight reduction for any wood it's holding. Its saddle also comes with a built-in smithy so you can build on the go. The Tony Dragon also has a special attack that shoots trank darts at a target so if you ever have a lot of time and you want to knock something small out, you can definitely use this guy but it will take like half an hour. Number 6. The Argentavis Once you unlock its saddle, this is one of the most balanced flyers in all of Ark, with weight reductions to multiple resources great stamina to flight times and rapid regeneration when it harvests dead carcasses. And to top it all off, the RG is able to pick up tamed dinos on PvE or tamed and wild dinos if you're playing PvP. So why not grab an RG as soon as you can get one? Number 7. The Wyvern Going towards the end game must have dinos, I give you the Wyvern. One of the most fearsome flying powerhouses in Ark. There are several types of wyvern, but currently on Ark Survival Ascended, we have the three base versions, lightning, poison, and fire. Each wyvern type comes with an element breath that does crazy damage. They have great stamina to flight ratios and pack a nice bite force. Wyvern like the Argies can also pick dinos and even larger dinos than the Argy can pick. Beyond its special element breath, the Wyvern also has a gust ability which pushes back dinos or players close by and harvests thatch and wood from any nearby trees. This is a must have tame. Number 8. The Rock Golem or Rock Elemental The Rock Golem is an arc powerhouse. It towers above most dinos and comes with a crazy rock throw ability that can be targeted and you can use this guy as a tank. So if you're a PvP player, you want to have one of these because they get a damage reduction to those bullets. The Rock Elemental specializes in resource collection on rocks and wood. They also get a damage reduction from attacks that aren't blunt force. And the best part in my opinion is when you're finished using your Rock Elemental, you can literally just disguise it as a rock around your base and add a little bit of that ambiance. Number 9. The Manthus this bug is overlooked on Ark, but it's one of the most underrated tames. The Mantis has some sick perks that get overlooked all the time. These guys can hold weapons or tools, and depending on the grade or damage of the tool, plus the melee of your Mantis, you have an expert resource collector or just a murder machine. 
The Mantis are also fast on their feet and using their leap ability can make you almost fully immune to any fall damage, which is crazy if you're trying to jump off like high places, like why not have a Mantis? So now for the top of my list. If you've made it this far, please leave a like and a subscribe and keep supporting the channel and let me know what dinos you would put on this top 10 list. Number 10, the Phoenix. This is one of the best creatures in the game and you can tame one as soon as you have access to oil jars as no saddle is needed. Check out my Phoenix taming video if you want to know how to tame one of these guys. The Phoenix comes with a special fire blast that scorches the area it hits. It can harvest resources such as metal, stone, wood and to add to its repertoire it also smelts metal in its inventory and cooks meat too so like you can smelt your metal and get food all at the same time. And if that wasn't enough, this tame poops pearls. So it's a win-win. It's poop, pearls, just it eating alone, burned metal, and gives you cooked meat. And you probably thought I was done. No, no, no. The Phoenix also has this sick move called the Blaze. And it basically just opens his wings and flies right past everything. And anything it goes past gets the burning status effect, which means you're burning everything, you're blazing a trail, like you're, you're, you're a roadster, you feel me? And if you've made it this far, I do appreciate you. Make sure to let me know what dinos you would swap out on this top 10 list. And don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Yeah, yeah. Pop out in the nighttime with the lights out.